don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. That table can only mean one thing. We'll be playing the Super Nintendo. On today's episode of Memory Lane, we're we'll taking a look back at uh, Royal Rumble for Super Nintendo. Good old fashioned wrestling game. You can see the, uh, the label art right there. You got Bret Hart, Undertaker, Mr. Perfect with a, with a chair. You got the Yokozuna, you got Razor and Rowan and Shawn Michaels all on the label art. You got Royal Rumble right there with the old box WWF logo. And uh, we already know that this game is its an alright game. It's not bad. It's made by LJN, as you can see there. That's probably not a good sign, but... And, uh, but look, what happens when you combine it together with the Game Genie? Now, apparently there is no official Game Genie codes for this game, so... I found a series of codes that apparently work with this game. But, what exactly does it do? Does it make your game harder? Does it make your game easier to play? Does it give you a visibility? Uh, let's go over to the Game Genie, which is right here. Let's go over to the Super Nintendo is what I meant, and let's find out, and let's meet over there, and let's play some Royal Rumble. Let's, let's hack the game. We got our lovely Super Nintendo right down there. We got our Game Genie right here. We're going to do some crazy stuff with the Game Genie. I'm going to lay the smack down. All right, let's get our game out of this case right here. You can see that this, these cases work really well to keep the game maintained. Got our Royal Rumble cartridge right there. And we're about to have a very electrified Royal Rumble in about two seconds. Here we go. Unstoppable. Did you feel that power? That power was insane. Now let's uh, see if we can hack uh, Royal Rumble. The, uh, the codes that I found, I'm not sure if they're going to work or not, but apparently let's, let's test it out. Let's Pop the game in. Slide it inside there and... Alright, let's head over to the CRT and let's play some Royal Rumble and let's see if it actually works. Alright, here we are playing WWF Rolled Wrestling Federation Royal Rumble using the Game Genie, and uh, we got a series of codes entered here, and there, there's really no decent code for Royal Rumble on the Game Genie at all for Super Nintendo, just so you guys know, so literally every single code that was entered in here is designed to screw you over. Just for the hell of it, I guess we'll just enter one more code in here. So just keep in mind that when you're watching this gameplay footage of Royal Rumble, that each code is designed to screw over the player. So it's, it makes the game harder. And of course we got the uh, copyrights and all that book. I've got the LJN logo right there. Oh boy. We got the awesome Royal Rumble title screen. Got the Undertaker, Brett the Hitman Hart, Tataka, Rush, Ric Flair, John Michaels, Razor Ramon, Yokozuna, Alex Luger. Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, Marshall Man, Randy Savage, and then we got Mr. Perfect, and they kind of cut Mr. Perfect off. So let's uh, let's let's give this a test to see exactly what this does. Got Brett the Hitman Hearts music right there is definitely the best there is. The best it was and the best it ever will be. Let's keep the difficulty at normal. Now speaking of Bret Hart, let's let's play as Bret Hart. It's definitely one of my favorites. Let's 
see the sound is stuffing me up there. Got Bret Hart takes on all comers in the Royal Rumble. Madness. So that's the tonight's match, and that's a little portrait of Bret Hart right there. Looks pretty cool. Looks promising. Let's see what this game genie can do to help us out. What the hell is that? Did I just fall down, like, by myself? Wait, who hit Ted DiBiase? Like, Ted DiBiase came in there and he fell down by himself. What the hell? I got hit by something that's not even there. So as you uh, may already notice, there is, there's a cheat code in this game where you're not a, you can't run. If you try to run, you fall down. And you hurt, you get hurt. Look at this. So it makes the game even harder to play. And you can see that the uh, computer guys are affected by the, uh, the, the code as well. And it, it just makes the game a lot more harder to play and a lot more difficult. And I'm not sure how we're going to eliminate anyone in this game. See Bret Hart's beat to a pope. And uh, Ted DiBiase just fell victim of the uh, the Game Genie. Like the biggest winner in this match for the Royal Rumble is going to be Game Genie. The Game Genie is going to win. Everybody's beating themselves up here. See, I just fell down again. As soon as you hit the Y button on the Super Nintendo controller, you fall down. Let me give you an ex Oh my god. Mr. Perfect did it to himself. See, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage is strangling me. He's trying to kill me. Mr. Perfect just kicked me in the ass. And let's see if we can climb up the ropes here and jump on everybody. Yeah, look at that. And it looks like the Undertaker did a tombstone. And how are we going to eliminate anyone in this game using this uh, Game Genie? And it looks like Macho Man eliminated somebody. So it's quite possible. We'll just have to get the right button combinations here. Now this is definitely uh, ridiculous. The game machine is supposed to... Uh, here comes Razor Ramon. It's supposed to make the, the game easier for you to play. You know, assist you. That's the reason why you want to buy a game machine. But instead, for this game, it makes it harder. Alright, I'm at the top of the rope. We'll see if we can... Oh, that didn't work out. I think I broke my uh, pelvis bone or something. Let's pull a sharpshooter off. Got Tatanka is trying to beat me up here. That would be... Uh, Razor Ramon is trying to kill Tatanka. I'm trying to choke the shit out of him. Now, like, everybody's falling in the, in the... And I'm at the point right now where I, I might as well just eliminate myself, because my life bar is down so low. You got the commentators outside the ring trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Like, why is everybody beating themselves up? Why is everybody falling on the ground? Like, what the hell is this? I've never seen this before. I tried to toss the taco over the top rope, and that definitely did not work out. Do some kicking. It looks like Crush just eliminated somebody. And, uh, the, at least the character models look like the actual wrestlers. You got Yokozuna in the ring. Now, the last person you want in the ring right now is Yokozuna. Just... You do that bonsai splat and you're dead. That's it. Okay. Two big old butt cheeks come down on you and you're gonna die. You got Shawn Michaels trying to choke out Ric Flair. And uh, Ric Flair is kind of. See if we can toss Rick Flair. Come on, toss Rick Flair over the top rope. That didn't work. That 
Ted DiBiase over here still in the match. He's going to hang out over on the... Whoa, what the hell is that? Did I get eliminated? Where did I go? I think I stood on the top rope just a little bit too long and somehow I fell off. I, I, I did not realize that could happen. That was pretty funny. You got the, the crowd going wild here for a, a Royal Rumble, which is a spectacular event for the uh, WWE. They usually hold it in January. And uh, the Game Genie is the biggest winner of this, and the Crush did his finisher there, too. That's pretty cool. Got all kinds of crazy stuff going Oh my god. Now, Ric Flair is still in the match. We'll see if Ric Flair wins. And uh, Crush dropped kick Ted DiBiase's face in. Probably lost a couple of teeth right there. That was... Oh, Yokozuna just jumped off the top rope. That was uh, definitely a definite earthquake right there. You go on USGS.com and that probably registered on the Richter scale. And oh my god, what a... Knee to the ass right there by Yokozuna. And we got uh, Ted DiBiase getting, trying to do his moves, but he keeps falling down. And we got the figure four leg lock being applied by Ric Flair. So we've got some pretty good finishers being done right here. And, uh, oh my god, Yokozuna just tossed somebody out of the ring. I couldn't make out who that was, but tossed them out like garbage. Like he basically just picked him up over his head and just tossed him out like a piece of shit. That was impressive. And we'll see what, uh, I believe that's, oh my god, he tossed someone else out. And uh, it looks like Yokozuna just knocked himself out right there. And that is the invisible game genie doing his, uh, his, his work, you know, what, what the hell. Once again, Yokozuna knocked himself out. And Yokozuna is in it to win it. So far, he's eliminated probably two or three people. And let's see who, uh, we're down to the final three right here. And uh, Yokozuna is waiting patiently to get his hands on Ted DiBiase. And Ted DiBiase is fighting back. And Ric Flair knocked himself out. Courtesy to the Game Genie. And uh, what do we have here? We're going to stand off. Oh, everybody fell down. What the hell is that? Now, let's see who uh, walks away. The, the Royal Rumble victorious winner over right here. And get the uh, title shot at WrestleMania against whoever is the champion. And uh, either way, we're going to have a pretty decent winner here. we got either Ted DiBiase. Ric Flair just got eliminated by Ted DiBiase. So who's going to win? Is it going to be Yokozuna or is it going to be uh, Ted DiBiase? And Ted DiBiase has been in the ring for quite a long time. So this is going to be interesting. The Million Dollar Man is going to win this match. And if he doesn't win, he's going to, he's going to pay the winner. and he's going, to get, he's, he's going to get his title shot either way. Because he has the money. So even if Yokozuna wins, he's going to pay Yokozuna off. So let's see here. He did it with Andre the Giant back in like 1988. He paid Andre the Giant... He bought the belt from him. Alright, who's going to win here? You can see uh, Yokozuna is definitely knocking himself out a few times using the uh, Game Genie. And uh, this match is insane. You get the commentators are going nuts at ringside. And the fans are at the edge of their seats. They don't know what the hell is going to happen. And we have uh, Yokozuna. You got the million dollar chokehold right there. He's going to choke his ass out. And the only thing he has to use, oh, now Yokozuna is strangling him. Trying to kill him. Like, literally trying to kill him. Got to... Stopping the shit out of him, because he can't Irish whip him. And Yokozuna is victorious. He literally tossed Ted DiBiase from the center of the ring. Like, that is nuts. Got... Uh, Howard Finkel right there. Howard Finkel better watch out, because he might get tossed next. 
And so Yokozuna is the Royal Rumble champion. He joined at four minutes and uh, one second right third. And uh, the match went on for a good ten minutes. So he survived like halfway through the through the uh, the Royal Rumble. That was pretty good. Got the narcissist, Lex Luger. So let's check out <laughs> for a second that scared me. That was uh it's Tonka's theme song. Just in case you don't know that. So yeah, one player let's do a brawl. Let's pick our let's see, let's pick our uh chopper right here. Let's see who's gonna lose. So we have to pick someone that's going to brawl, so let's pick someone who wants to get into a vicious fight right here. No, let's, let's pick Tatanka. Tatanka versus Crush in a street fight. That's going to be interesting. Alright, so here we are. And uh, right away I'm kicking my own ass. And he's trying to hit me with the chair, but it's... apparently he fell down himself. I forgot, how, how do you pick the chair up? I'm pretty sure it's the white button, and every time you hit the white button, you fall down. There we go, he's choking, him. He's choking his ass out. See if we can actually win a match here. We, we got a lot of like uh, a lockup here that's never ending. Look at this. <laughs> Come on, do something. What the hell? All right. Let's get the share and beat the shit out of him with that share. That's our objective. We need to beat crush up with that chair. I have no idea how he picked that chair up. Oh, he ripped my face, bastard. All right. Oh my God. What the hell? But I forgot how to play this game. Yeah, how do you like that, you son of a bitch? Now I'm gonna choke your ass out. He wants to keep coming at me. I keep scratching his face. Alright, so it looks like we're in a lockup again, and this is like a never ending hold. Gotta keep mashing buttons. Oh my god, what the hell? And now he's strangling me. Alright, it looks like we had a fist fight there. The chair never even got used. But at least Tatanka walked away victorious. You got the uh, awesome Tatanka music that just scared the shit out of me like a second, a second ago. And uh, that was it. That was uh, Royal Rumble. Using the games you need, this, it really doesn't help you at all. It makes the game a little harder. So every time you hit the Y button, you fall down. Like the game machine is beating the shit out of you. It's like punishing you. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think. 